Another student within the Chico Unified School District has tested positive for COVID-19. Action News Now reporter Amy Lansky joins us now. So Amy, what are they doing to stop the spread? Yeah, Alan, they're doing quite a few things, but the principal at PV says that one of the most important things for them is to stay transparent with the community and with families. Principal Damian Whitaker says he feels the school has a solid process in notifying families. And I think what supports um, alleviating concern is um, the quality of our safety protocols with our um, PPEs and our sanitation here. Besides students having to wear their masks at all times, they are having to social distance. So if they get here early, there are these stickers on the ground to make sure they're keeping their space when they're lined up. We all have to sit like six feet apart in class. We put on hand sanitizer when we go like enter and leave a classroom. Grace Montgomery is a sophomore at PV. She says the one COVID case makes her a little nervous, but she thinks the school is handling it well. Everybody who comes to school knows like the risks of coming to school and they decide to come anyways and so I think that um, everybody's just coming to preserve their mental health and I think that is just something to be aware about yeah. The school has put everyone around the student that was in the classroom on quarantine so there all the people around him have been quarantined and I think that will like immediately solve like the problem. Senior Ethan Alexander says he couldn't be happier to be back at school for his last year and he isn't too concerned with just one positive case. Yeah, I don't think people should be very scared as one case. Maybe if it's like it's like 10, 20, maybe, but one case, no, I don't think anybody should be scared. Alexander added all his classmates are taking COVID serious, keeping their masks on, social distancing as much as they can, and using hand sanitizer. And Whitaker says that they'll continue to do in-person classes as long as they're meeting all the guidelines required by the state and the county. Alan, back to you.